a sobering new assessment about the food we eat and the impact it has on us. A global study out late tonight estimates one out of every five people who die are killed, get ready for this, because of their diet. One in five. And the study finds it's not just bad food that's killing us, it's not eating enough good food. The study tracked trends across 195 countries for nearly three decades. It found 11 million deaths per year are attributable to dietary risk factors. Researchers looked at 15 different dietary trends, things like eating too much salt, not eating enough whole grains or fruit. Here's what they found. The top killer, eating too much sodium. But surprisingly, the next leading cause of food-related illnesses are not eating enough healthy foods, in particular whole grains, fruit, nuts and seeds, and vegetables. Look, there is not a region on the planet that's eating the right mix of foods. This research was just published tonight in one of the world's leading medical journals, The Lancet. We asked The Lancet to tell us about the ideal diet. What should we be eating? Researchers came up with the answer, not just for our own personal health, but also the planet's health. In other words, a sustainable, healthy diet. Here's what researchers said. The basics, think plant-based foods as, you, as the primary thing you eat. They say to pack half of your plate with vegetables and fruit, then some whole grains. And when it comes to protein, here's the breakdown on that. Still think plants, legumes and nuts first, poultry, eggs, fish, beef, lamb, and pork, all in extreme moderation. Here's what it, that looks like in the real world. These plates would be in what researchers call a flexitarian diet largely plant-based, but open to modest amounts of fish, meat, and dairy. Again, no one on the planet is eating like this. To move this to this sort of diet, researchers say we would have to eat twice as much healthy foods and less than half as much of the unhealthy stuff.